All right. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to sort certain things like emails uh, when the thing that you would like to sort is in the middle of the phrase. Normally, if you'd like to sort something, let's say I wanted to sort these first names alphabetically, I could just go sort and sort by first name. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Excel does all the work. However, if let's say I wanted to sort these emails by the domain name, that would be a lot more difficult to do because Excel can't necessarily identify the beginning letter of each domain. They're all different lengths until they reach the first letter. Um, so it's not the most simple thing to do. However, with the right tools, it's very easy. So what we're going to do is use a delimiter to split the domains into the name of the email and the domain name. From there, we're going to sort the domain name and then recombine them. And that's sort of a workaround to be able to sort emails. You may need to sort emails by domain if you're unable to send emails to a certain domain like Yahoo or if you specifically want to target Gmails or whatever. So without further ado, let us get started. I also have the first names here just so you can see when things get sorted that everything will stay together. That's a good check to have because if you sort without expanding your selection, the emails will not match the first names and then you'll have to do a VLOOKUP in order to recombine them. So using text to columns, we're going to use a delimiter in order to split our emails, uh, in order to split the name of the email and the domain name of the email. So let's do that. We're going to use an at sign because each email has an at sign. As you can see, there are other delimiters. You can use in other cases as well, but in this case, we'll use the at sign. And we'll have it replace the same data that we have right now. So let's finish. And you can see the name part of the email is where it was, and the domain name of each email is put into the next column. So we'll just write domain here. OK. So now that we have separated out our domains, we can sort them. So let's do that. Let's sort our selection. We want to make sure that's going to expand so that each row remains with each row. And we're going to sort by our domain. Okay, so now we can see we have all of our Gmails. When we recombine them, will be easy to find in one place. All of our Yahoo's, when we recombine them, will be easy to find in one place, etc. So let's recombine them now. So the way that you can recombine is a very simple formula. Of course, like all formulas, it starts with an equal sign. You're going to take the cell that you would like to recombine, do and, at, and the second cell. You can actually do this sequence as many with as many cells as you like. So you could, you know, if you had a, if you want had uh, multiple words and you wanted to make a sentence, you could do that. This is a very useful. Um, a very useful template for a formula, but we'll just press enter and as you can see the emails recombined and now when I double click I'll have all of the recombined emails but in alphabetical order by domain name so now if I wanted to just find all my gmails and do a campaign or something with them I could select all these gmails and do that. Now I can get rid of these but when I do that the recombined emails will show up as reference because the formula that, that they're based on is no longer there. So what I like to do as well is I'll copy the emails and I'll control V paste special values only. And what that will let me do is then delete these things and this is only text characters now. It's no longer a formula so it won't be changed if you move it around. So it won't be reliant on those other cells that you base the formula off of especially if you don't lock those cells in and you start moving it from place to place. And you can see again, Barbara, Barbara, Arturo, Melvin, Faith, Olga, these names all match the emails that we started with, so none of the ordering got messed up. Um, and just like that, you have emails ordered and ready to go. Uh, 